All right, all right, all right. This is Intuitive Empress coming to you with another message. This is a general message for all signs. As a general message, please take what resonates and leave the rest. It is impossible for this message to resonate with everyone. Parts of it may resonate with you, while other parts may not. All right? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to those who are coming back. Thank you for all of my subscribers. I do truly appreciate all of you and for your continued support. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. I pray that you find something that will help you in your life journey. Remember to eat the fish and don't get choked up on that bone. All right. So please like, comment, subscribe. If you are not a subscriber, hit that bell notification. Share this video out. Please let me know if you like the reading. Please let me know. If it resonated, as you interact with the channel, it helps me to pick up on your energies during the reads. All right. Wow. The overall energy is fork in the road. Someone is at a crossroads. Someone needs to make a decision on what path to take. Or what person to continue on with. Someone has been receiving messages from the Most High God and need to listen to their intuition. And on the bottom of the deck is truth be told. So this is the truth. Hmm. So that is the overall energy. Let's see what comes out. Holy Spirit, I believe, angels of God, Father God, please give a message to the intuitive community. That's too many cards, so you're going back. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, so we have the Page of Wands. Well, not the Page of Wands. The Knight of Wands here. Fiery energy. We see the phoenix rising up from the ground. Hmm. We also have the Three of Swords. So somebody went through a heartbreak. But you rose up after taking some time for yourself. Yeah. After experiencing some defeat. So this is a vice versa. Tarot. This is the night in victory, this is the night in defeat. Going into hermit mode. When I looked at the card, that's what I was thinking. Hermit. But no. This is the night. Hmm. Interesting. And we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay. In the upright, you have the Sun, right choices, 
In this one, it looks like you're juggling and you're about to lose control of what you're juggling. You see that? He looks worried. Hmm. So you're worried about choices that you have to make or some choices that you had are no longer there. Hmm. Some of you could have been juggling too many options. Or the person that you're attempting or thinking about pursuing is not the right person for you. Or the path that you're trying to take is not the right path, which is why you're at a fork in a road. Hmm. Okay, that flew across the table. Hmm. Wow. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. So you need some clarity because the swords are all about clarity in the mind. You could be confused and need clarity on which way to go. You could have been giving in a situation and not receiving anything back. Yeah. You, this is the Four of Wands, which is a twin flame card, divine union card in the reverse. So, Hmm. So this was in regards to a relationship. As I, as I said, I really feel like you have a heartbreak regarding a relationship. You were giving into this relationship and not getting anything back. And it left you in the five of swords. Hmm. Feeling defeated. See, that one person is on the ground. Defeated. This person could have left you for someone else had other lovers. But others of you, I feel like you left the situation to go to something that you thought was better. And it ended up with you being in defeat because that person was not better. Or this could have been your person that left you for greener pastures and it was not. You were waiting for your investment to come back to you. For this relationship to, do, uh, to develop, 
into something and it did not. This could also be your person. Hmm. Wow. This is the temperance card. So somebody in this, the temperance back is turned. And you have strength and courage. And an eagle. Huh. Which is also a symbol of strength. I feel like you don't have strength, though, because you're out of patience and maybe even out of time. We have the Aquarius card. This is the star card. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like you poured out your emotions from both cups and you're feeling empty and alone. Or this could be your person. We have the Hierophant card here. You could have been a spiritual teacher or leader, someone with traditional values, or maybe the person that you were dealing with, that was the path that you were supposed to take with someone who had traditional values or a different belief system as you. Hmm. What else, Spirit? Wow. Ask and you shall receive. Hmm. 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 Yeah. You felt bound to a situation. Because we have the Page of Cups, Piscean energy. Someone who provided a very small offer. And <laughs> that small offer whittled to nothing because this fish is jumping out of this cup. So this love offer that was here is no longer available to you. Hmm. And I apologize, no, it's the Knight of Cups. So this was somebody that was in and out. Somebody who came in fast and left just as fast. This could have been somebody that love bombed you. And I'm getting that either you or your person got taken advantage of by someone who came and love bombed them and left. They were thinking because this was so passionate and they showed so many emotions in the beginning that this was the path that they were supposed to take. It was new, it was exciting. Hmm. We have the emperor. The king of wands, I'm sorry. In reverse. So the passion in this relationship fizzled out as quickly as it was ignited or it will.
leaving you feeling trapped and bound. Not knowing that you have the victory, because there's the ego flying, the ego represents victory. And there's a sword right behind you that you could use to cut yourself free. Hmm. But you just don't see a way out of this. Or your person doesn't see a way out of this. We have the three of wands. So someone has been planning and plotting. Could be your person planning their escape. Could be you planning your escape from a toxic situation. Hmm. This is someone who's thinking, who's planning. Who's seeking balance because in his hand here is the yin and yang symbol. Male and female. Balance. So somebody has been seeking balance in their situation. Could be you or your person. Or they could be planning on how to get back to you. Or get on the right path. We have... The Knight of Coins. So we have all the knights, it seems, I, I believe, on deck. Because we have the Knight of Coins. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Swords. So yes. We have all of the knights. This person could have came in and had a little bit of money. We could have had somebody that came after you because you were a hard worker. You were waiting for something that was going to bring in money. This person came in with a little bit of money, flashing their money. Somebody that talked big. See, that horn there made a lot of noise. But they weren't all they were cracked up to be. And on that mountain, there's lava running down. Hmm. Yeah, everything wasn't what it seemed with the juggling act here. You or your you your person. Cause I don't feel like it was you. I feel like it was your person that was juggling two people. Juggling multiple priorities. Playing the balancing. But it's in the reverse. Hmm. I believe for some of you, this person was juggling to impress their family and friends. You see, their family and friends is up there watching. Hmm. Huh. Probably giving them bad advice. And we have the Six of Swords. Someone's trying to move on. And I feel like they're going to be sneaking away. Yeah, the Six of Swords. 
feel like they're going to be sneaking away. From the love offer. Because in this, they have the six of swords. But this person is holding a cup. The cup of love. This person is retreating from whatever love interest. Sneaking away in the middle of the night. Hmm. Again, sneaking away in the middle of the night, the fool card at night, taking that leap of faith to try to get on the right path. This person may be calling on the help of a friend or you may be calling on the help of a friend with that dog in the corner, man's best friend. For some of you, your person is sneaking away and having their best friend cover for them. Saying that they don't know where they are to flee this situation. Coming after their peace, see that dove there? And their Ace of Cups. This is the Ace of Cups. Hmm. So they can let go of this heavy burden with the Ten of Wands. Hmm. Interesting. So let's see what the situation is with this. We're only going to get a few situation cards. Because we're already over 20 minutes. Hmm. I know I had another car turn over on here. There it is. All right, so we have hmm. Wow. Your person had an insatiable, unquenchable appetite. Always wanting more, more pleasure. Going out, gambling, taking a risk. But the risk was not worth it. This risk could have been with someone from their past. Did they have a past history with? Someone they possibly could have children with? Baby mom, baby dad. Someone who pulled at their heartstrings and maybe even their purse strings. And they're trying to escape that situation. They're calling on their angels to protect them. Because Okay. 
This card came out early on and I said it was their friends and family. This could be the baby mom's family that's no too, not too happy that this person wants to walk away. They're going to pop up spontaneously at your house unexpectedly and about to reveal and confess what happened. So for some of you, you were with this person and they went back to an ex while they were with you. But others of you, this person was messing with you and someone else juggling you and they got the other person pregnant. And now they feel trapped because they know that you're the one. They've been getting messages from the divine. And now this person is going to have a truth to be told to you when they come back because you don't understand why they walked away. Why you stopped hearing from them. Why they seemingly disappeared. Hmm. Yeah. This person has been getting messages, synchronicities, all kinds of things to let them know that you are their soulmate. And now they're focused on trying to get you back. It could be watching you on social media. Praying. Hoping that you'll take them back. Yearning for your presence. Right now, in this moment. Praying that they would... Get free of this bondage and they can end the relationship that didn't work out and mend the relationship with you. Mend the relationship with the person they got pregnant. I don't necessarily want to call this person karmic energy because I'm not getting that this person knew about you or even that this person was karmic in their actions. But it's going to leave this person sad and broken and crushed, just like you were sad and broken and crushed. But this person is definitely watching you on social media and is going to begin to chase you. Yeah. All right. So let's get some signs and we're going to wrap this up. Hmm. That's the price you pay, though, when you are playing a field. You, you end up in situations that you weren't expecting to be in. Getting overburdened. I'm not, and the, the reason why I'm not saying this, I'm not getting anything that this person was karmic. I'm not getting anything about black magic. This person went in with both eyes open. Wanting to have their cake and eat it too. Hmm. And things got a little too real. Because I'm getting for some of you, when this person got pregnant, their family didn't play. It was like, you going to marry my sister, my brother, my daughter, my niece. But your person, so the person with traditional values could be the person that the person that you were, that broke your heart was dealing with and they feel trapped. For many of you, they knew who you were, but they felt like they had time and they wanted to play the field. And they ended up getting stuck.
having to flee a situation by night and sneak away. Interesting. All right, we have Scorpio energy. Aries energy twice. You see the Aries energy? We have Pisces energy. We have Sagittarius energy. Gemini energy right there. Trying to turn that, turn, turn. There you go, Gemini energy. And more Pisces energy. Heavy Pisces energy. Heavy, heavy, heavy Aries energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Scorpio. Or Sagittarius. We still have Aries coming out. We have Leo. We have Sagittarius again. And we have Virgo energy. That could be your sign. It could be the sign of your person. It could be a sign of the person that your person was juggling along with you. Does not have to be. Those are just the signs that came out. And I, I actually rolled three times. I'm like, okay, I'm getting the same energies. And I'm still getting the same energy. So that's the energies that's coming in heavy in this read. I hope this message helped you on your path and your journey. I pray that everyone involved gets their healing. And that this situation works out for your highest good. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time.